Okay, so what we have here is another screwed up video because I can't see good. Um, what we're doing today is we're working on that McLean uh, lawnmower. And you'll see in the video what the problem is with it. And the part I wanted to record about the uh, carburetor that we're using today. Um, what it was was last year I bought a lawnmower from somebody and he gave me a carburetor. It was brand new in the box for a quantum engine which will fit this uh, McLean. And I wanted to explain to you that I stole the uh, bowl bolt, yeah the bowl bolt, you know the main jet. I stole it out of that for something else but it's a new carburetor and it's all intact and everything besides that. And what I did was, you'll see in the video, um, what exactly I, I did with the carburetor and the whole job here. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let's get to the video. Hello friends, I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so in the previous video on this McLean lawnmower, uh, what I did was I changed the uh, blade adapter to accept a cheaper um, universal blade for it. And... You know, during the video, towards the end of the video, we tested it and everything was fine. And I told you that I still had to check the uh, air filter on it. And then in order to do that, I had to take the duct work off. You know, the, it's a tube that runs along the side there for the bagger. Um, I did it off camera. And I had a pretty good used uh, air filter that I put on there. Now the air filter I took out of it was this, all clogged up, and it ran. So I put the new air filter in it, I put it all back together, and I'll show you right now the problem I ran into with it. Hey, check out that blade ticking too. Might have to tighten the blade a little bit. Okay, so at any rate, it ran good with the clog clogged air filter, which indicates that the uh, carburetor has uh, a lean fuel mixture. Because uh, with the clogged air filter, it would be like putting a choke halfway on and the machine would run. Um, it could either be dirt in the carburetor or I'm hoping it's not a, like a cracked intake manifold could cause that to, you know, like a vacuum leak. Um, I'm thinking it's the carburetor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get it up on the table here. And we're going to take the carburetor apart. Well, we're going to take the carburetor off, but I'm going to approach, approach this a little bit different. So I'll be right back with you in about a second. Okay, so I took off this uh, nut and carriage bolt that's down in here. Because you're not even going to be able to see that. So what I'll do is I'll take these other two out. And like I said, what it is is uh, I disconnected the spark plug wire too. Because I just had to spin the blade a little bit to uh, get to hold this uh, carriage bolt. It's a little tricky putting this cover back on, but it's not too bad. It could be worse. So. 
Seems like it comes right out real easy, but putting it back in sometimes is a little tricky. Okay, so we got that off. We'll just stick it under the bench, under the table here. Uh, now we'll take the uh, air filter off. I put this air filter in it here, which is not too bad. It's okay. So, well, we know it breeds compared to the other one. Okay, so now we have this uh, air filter box back in here, which you know how that go with, goes with these. So I'm gonna carefully take this off and hope I don't uh, dis disrupt anything because, you know, you've seen them, they're warped, gaskets break. So if I break a gasket today, I'm out of luck because it's Sunday morning and the uh, lawnmower shop is closed today. So we'll go ahead and take these three screws out that house this here and hope for the best. I might have to take this top cover off. I'm not really sure yet. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Still having a lot of trouble seeing my friends. I have to go back to the eye doctor the 11th of May. Today's May 1st. I don't know when I'll be putting this video out. But. Still having a struggle. I stayed on my diet so far. I have to go for some blood work. And see how that stands. If the doctor might have to adjust my medications, I don't know. Or if staying on this diet, I can uh, <clears throat> keep my blood sugar level down. Oh yeah, if I remember right. I think I'm going to have to take this uh, cable off here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a mark on the cable here, the casing. So we put it right back on the same way we took it off. So let me get back to you in about a minute or so. I'll just take that off. Okay, so this is a little tough to film. So I'm just going to show you right now. I took the, that uh, air box backing off and you just have this bent hose here that I pulled off and the gasket here is still stuck to the carburetor so I have to pull the carburetor off and carefully try to uh, save this gasket. If I can't save the gasket then I can't get one till tomorrow because like I said today's Sunday. Um, so what I need to do now is just pull off this uh, fuel hose here <clears throat> oh incidentally um, I did check for the gas cap I loosened the gas cap it's still stalled because sometimes you have a clogged vent in the, in the uh, gas cap that'll cause it to run for a few seconds sometimes longer and then it'll stall out but I checked for that and that all seems to be fine so I'm gonna remove this uh, fuel line next and then there's two bolts that you'll be using the 3 8 socket on to pull the carburetor itself off. And then you just have the Z-Bend uh, linkage uh, that comes off the uh, governor that I have to take off. So it's just one linkage I have to take off and then we can remove the carburetor. And then like I said, this uh, bowl, bolt, main jet here, I have to take it off this carburetor and I'll clean it out and make sure that's all right. And then we'll get back to uh, reassembly. Now, I don't like running these machines without this uh, tube back on. Because this is all wide open here. But for testing purposes, I'm going to put it all back together. Uh, including the uh, air cleaner backing and the air filter housing. And we're going to try it. 
and see if it'll start up. Um, I, I'm hoping, like I said, that it's in the carburetor that has the problem, and I'm pretty sure it does. If it's the uh, intake manifold, they're plastic. I know I do have some because I stripped them off blown engines and so forth. But I'm hoping that it's just the carburetor. So I'll be back to you in a second or so. So this jet here, the ball, bolt, okay, it, it has um, an opening on the bottom here, which I stuck the torch uh, tip cleaner in there. And you also want to, when you stick it in a hole, you want to dig around in there. This seemed to be a little clogged, actually. And then you have two holes on the side here, one going in and one coming out the other way. Uh, so I sprayed some uh, brake clean through here and it came out a good stream. At first it didn't come out a good stream. So it looks like uh, it could have been the whole time. It could have been this uh, main jet uh, bolt here. But we're not taking any chances. I'm going to try that out of the carburetor though. So let me get to putting the other carburetor. I'm going to put this uh, bolt back in. And I'll take the, take off the original carburetor and we'll stick the uh, that new one on and see if that works. I already checked that carburetor for the flow. I was able to blow into uh, the fuel inlet. And then when I turned it upside down, I couldn't. So that seems to be okay. Uh, I'll be back to you in a second. Okay, so look how bad the fuel line is. It's all cracked and a little bit petrified too. So, I got a nice new piece of uh, fuel line we'll be putting on there too, just to let you know. Okay, so we're looking good so far. I installed the new fuel line. There's still gas in the tank. I put the uh, main jet back in, the bolt bolt. I mounted the carburetor here. And what we're doing right now is we're checking to make sure there's no leaks. So, so far it's so good, no leaks. So next thing I have to do is try to save that uh, air filter base gasket off the other carburetor, off the other, uh, yeah, off the other carburetor. And hopefully I could get it off on one piece and reuse that again. Um, all right, so I'll be back to you in a second or so again. Okay, so somehow I was able to get that uh, backing off, the uh, air, <coughs> air filter box backing. I was able to get the gasket off in one piece. How good the gasket still is, I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and try it. Okay, so let's try it and see what happens. I just have to keep my face away from the opening there because I didn't put that chute back on. Um, I'm hoping it primes and everything and works. So let's give it a go and see what happens. can't really hear it priming, but I don't know if you're supposed to give it full throttle here. see the blade hitting anything and I made sure the blade was cut tight but I mean once it starts it's okay but I don't know who knows let's try it one more time a winner um, all right so I guess that's gonna be it I'm gonna finish putting it back together and um, I could resell it like this and I'm gonna keep that old carburetor we took off somewhere down the line I'll take that apart and see what's going on with that and we'll try it on something easier 
you know, something we don't have to take that duct work out of. So I hope somebody got something out of this. And good thing we changed that fuel line. It was cracked and petrified and everything. So uh, everything seems to be good. There's no uh, fuel leaks. Um, and that, that's it. I hope somebody got something out of, out of the video. And I always appreciate you all watching. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. And be safe.